hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we will be seeing sections of solid problem number six so in this what they have given let us see quickly the question a pentagonal pyramid base 30 mm side axis 60 mm long it's resting by its base on hp okay then they have not given additional data related to vertical plane what they are telling let us see it is cut by a horizontal section plane 25 mm above the base okay so cutting plane angle they have not given it means here they have given horizontal section plane means section plane is parallel to hp and 25 mm above the base draw its front view sectional and sectional top view when the edge of base is parallel to vp edge of base perpendicular to vp so two small questions are there let us see quickly their top views all those things we will be seeing So this is our xy line both the bits i'm solving whenever they are telling whenever they are telling edge of the base parallel to vp then pentagon should start with like this horizontal edge side how much 30 mm so here i will draw 30 mm long line like this edge of base parallel to vp means horizontal parallel to vp we have taken Whereas when if they are telling edge of base should be perpendicular to VP at that time what we will do is we will be taking perpendicular to VP in this direction 30 mm. So 30 mm something like this from here 10, 20, 30 like this. This is the basic difference of orientation of pentagon. How to draw pentagon? Small video I have posted you can go to playlist and you can see my other videos let us complete this here also i will show you pentagon internal angle will be 72 so from here we will be coming like this and marking from here if you are coming you have to stop at 70 then 72 and from here if you are coming it should be stopped at 108 So here it is actual 72 or 108 from here we will be taking 30 degree then here also you measure the same angle from here the angle is 108 90 10 110 108 somewhere here. then length is same 30 mm side after that take this compass set a radius of 30 mm this is the center draw one arc here this is the center draw another arc here so somewhere here you will be getting the another corner of the pentagon join them with the remaining two corners of the pentagon so this is how you have completed the top view now what you need to do you need to project or you give numbers a b c d e okay all these points you project in the front view this is a pyramid so from all the corners will be going and meeting at the apex at the center so we have to locate the center for center what you need to do you need to take midpoint of the line and join with opposite corner like this so somewhere here the midpoint comes so this is the center now from center you have to join towards all the corners corners of the base after joining all the corners of the base at the center here we will come back to the front view so here already we have taken in the previous step we have projected all the five corners to here and axis length how much 
you can see in the question 60 mm long so from center you take vertically up for a height of 60 millimeter it comes somewhere here so here you need to draw a dark continuous line axis we will not draw because of this slant edge ob which is visible in this direction if you see in this direction if you see ob will be visible to you. so here o dash and here a dash and this is c dash and this is o dash let us complete this front view that is shape is triangular one and this center line and this e will be behind so this will be thick dash line you have to take what it and here d also thick dash line got it next what you need to do here construction is completed now go for cutting plane horizontal section plane 25 mm above the base it is cutting so with respect to base you have to go always you check parallel to this one and from the base it is 25 mm up so like this the cutting plane is there so within the object dark line i have taken and here axis thin chain you can take and here it should cut like this so that we should get a point now project it down so here very interesting thing as you have given a b c d here also you have to give numbers or alphabets also you can give so this is o to a so here first point we will be considering on a line or a slant edge this is second point number two this is third point number three fourth point will be behind of this so here comes four and this is fifth one one two this is three and four is on this hidden edge back side and five is on this hidden edge so here a b c already we have marked d dash and then e dash like this we have completed the points now project the section plane in the top view so point number one is in between o dash and a dash this projectile line should come and stop in between o and a so here is the point then point two we cannot project because already it is in this line how to take point two i will show you after this step point number three you take here point number four here four is in between o to d dash right so here in between o and d this point number four will come so this is one this is three this is four point five is somewhere here sorry not five dash just five now how to take point number two here <coughs> actual procedure for taking point two is first you need to project this point number two on slant edge slant edge is what true slant edge is what these all are slant edges when we will call it as a slant edge as true slant edge if it is parallel with respect to xy line or it o a o b o e any line you see all slant edges all are inclined with respect to xy line no line is horizontal or parallel to xy line so you have to create one imaginary slant edge which is now parallel to this one so what you do you pro take this protractor and take any corner for radius and you cut this one so here it is forming a point there are another method is also available that i will tell you later this point you join with the apex got it then this point number two you shift it here this distance from point two to this one you measure or you take with the compass right then from here you can cut it or after taking this point again you can again you can project this point again it will come somewhere here then this point also you can rotate in this manner that is also same procedure same point you will be getting okay projecting this point back in this edge what you have taken as a true slant edge and then from here you can rotate 
there is another possibility available as i said earlier whenever this cutting plane is parallel to x y line at that time only this is possible what whenever x y line is parallel to this cutting plane whenever it is parallel to x y line here outside you have pentagon inside also you will be getting same pentagon of smaller size whenever it is parallel to each other so here what you can do inside regular pentagon you will be getting so here to here how much size is there distance here to here it will be same here to here it will be same all the corners it will be same with respect to center so directly you can measure apex to 3 or apex to 1 then you can shift this distance here also but the actual procedure or concept of marking this point is you create slant edge if it is not there you create slant edge true slant edge take this distance or this distance draw an arc wherever the arc is cutting on the imaginary slant edge project it here and join this with apex take two point on this line and bring it back the projector wherever it is intersecting here on this line and from here this radius you take and then rotate so like that you will be getting point number two now join all the points with dark line and then inside that you have to do hatching so i will be doing hatching meanwhile so here i have completed the pentagon construction in the top view of second bit bit number b here the orientation is slightly different here edges horizontal here edges vertical so for this we will start numbering from here a b c d and e you can choose here a like that any direction you can use any numbers you can use alphabets anything but this is preferable from bottom left corner you should start always giving the numbers why because in the front view it will look nice i will show you while drawing the front view here also i have taken with bottom left corner the first point a so now aligning this scale with this and then projecting all the points on the front view All the points we have projected in the x y on the x y line now locating the center how to locate center midpoint of this line somewhere here join with opposite corner you will be getting the center of the pentagon so it is here and try to join with this here and then take midpoint of any other line midpoint means center of this two and join with this opposite line here like that we have got two points in the same manner midpoint of this you take and join with d like that you will be getting center as well as all slant edges whatever visible in the top view you will be able to draw like this now we will go for front view from the center you project the axis somewhere here and the axis height is how much 60 millimeter from here vertically upward you have to go for a height of 60 millimeter so here i will be going 60 mm like this from here vertically upward so this is your apex here you have to draw axis in this manner so this is your apex o dash and this is your o from here join all the corners of the base a is here a dash b dash c dash then back side we are going d dash and then e dash here so why i said you to take from the corner bottom left corner of the base because it will come in order a b c then back side d and e for order purpose we have taken in that manner okay now front view completed now we will draw the section plane section plane is again same for this horizontal section plane 25 mm above the base how you have drawn here the distance was 25 mm from the base okay here also we will do the same thing 
let us take so with respect to base 25 mm here you have to go up here is the point and here we will be drawing cutting plane so this is cut like this and here outside the object you can take axis line and here dark continuous inside the object then again thin continuous line outside the object so this is x x dash the cutting plane what do you do start numbering one here point number two three four and here five one dash in bracket five dash two dash bracket four dash three dash take all the points in the top view one is in between o and a so here comes your point number one and phi is in between o and e phi and e both are in brackets so o and e here is your point number phi point number two and four we will be projecting so two comes here four goes here then point number three we will be projecting that comes here point number three joining one two three or four i'll do with this dark line so top view is completed this is outside one is the top view this inside one is the after cutting new surface will come that is top sectional view also completed so these small lines what i am drawing is slant edges so this is like pentagon somewhere here 3d i am trying to draw like this so this has been cut from 25 mm above the base we have cut it this one so here also one new pentagon will form at this place so here we have done the hatching part so for both the diagram this is a 3d just imagination purpose so here you do the in here also we will make darker one here is the cutting plane okay inside this hatching you have to do 45 degree line equally spaced so parallelly i will take from here as a reference and here starts the hatching lines like this so if you have any doubts please ask in the comment or if you want any particular topic please comment below like subscribe and share my youtube channel thanks for watching everyone